Welcome to HR Insight, where I simplify human resource concept. After the episode I did on payroll management for beginners, I got a few requests uh, because in that particular episode, I shared a simple uh, payroll template uh, for usage such that you can be able to know what the gross salary is going to be and also the net salary showing all the various statutory deductions that are applicable to an employee within Nigeria. And today, I'm doing a follow-up episode uh, to that particular payroll template I shared simply because I got requests, I mean tons of requests, of individuals asking me the question that, Shergun, can you create can you create a payroll template that will be applicable to multiple employees? One that a small organization can actually use for salary payment on a monthly basis. And that is what I'm going to be doing in today's episode. But adventure you've not watched the video on payroll management for beginners, you will be able to get that by checking the card above this video. So let's get into Excel now and I will share with you another uh, payroll template that will be applicable to multiple employees. Uh, this particular payroll template can be downloaded uh, by checking uh, the link in the description below. So let's get into this template and take you through uh, how you would use this template. This particular template has three different worksheets within uh, the workbook. You have the annual pay uh, worksheet, monthly pay worksheet, and the pension schedule. That's, uh, sup uh, that is to help you for your pension remittance. Now, all you need to do to use this particular template uh, is to be able to impute the employee, the staff ID, the full name, and the annual salary of that employee. So I've been able to do this uh, up to 25 employees. You could customize this further. It's free for usage. Just download and customize. Uh, with a little knowledge of Excel, I'm sure you are not going to scatter the template in itself. itself. So all you so need all to you do need is to put in the employee ID. So have fictitious IDs that are put in. Then let's say, for example, I want to put in a new person, say Prince Charles. Now, the interesting thing about it is that each of these templates are tied to each other. Anything I do on the on the annual pay uh, uh, worksheet is going to affect the monthly as well as the pension schedule. Now, looking at the annual pay uh, worksheet, all it's there is that the salaries have been broken down. Uh, these are fictitious uh, templates. Uh, the breakdown can differ. I mean, how you break down your basic housing, transport, or other allowance can actually differ. You could change all of that. And all of this is uh, tied to those percentages. This is the formula in there. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just, you're going to download it and you can customize at will. But be very careful. If your knowledge of Excel is not too good, <laughs> you could break the template in itself. But as it is now, it's almost like a plug and play. All you need to do is if you change the percentages here, it will affect all the breakdown. So once I put in uh, the salary, say for example, this person is going to be taking 6 million uh, annual salary. So immediately I put in uh, the annual salary. You notice every other thing gets uh, auto-calculated in this template. If you go to the right hand side, you see the tax-free element. Our uh, pension is free from taxation. Annual voluntary contribution is free from taxation. Your annual NHF is free from taxation. Your consolidated relief allowance, the fixed and the variable, everything is compliant with the Finance Act 2020. Then you see the uh, tax-free uh, element then the taxable income that is the amount of tax that is open uh, the amount of the salary that is open to taxation then there's a formula that gets the annual tax and also the monthly tax computation then by the time you go uh, to the monthly pay uh, worksheet what you're going to notice is that it has calculated the annual the monthly net salary by breaking down the annual amount by 12 broken all of that down up to the monthly gross salary as well as giving you the monthly net salary. And you can populate this up to as many employees as possible. Just insert the sheets, insert the, uh, the rows to, um, for the all each of them and also to be able to duplicate the formulas that are already in this worksheet. Then if you look at the pension schedule, 
that also has been populated for you knowing what the monthly employee pension and the employer pension is going to look like and you could just impute the pin number uh, pension fund administrator pfa and the pfc as well that gives you an idea of what the total pension remittance is going to be on both sides uh, from the employee salary interestingly uh this has made life very easy for you adventure you have any other questions for me or you want me to create a dedicated video to answer your hr related question remember to drop that in the comment section below i'll see you in the next episode